Welcome back to a new video. In this video, we are going to do data cleaning using the pandas library of Python. We are going to take the raw data, we are going to clean it using various data cleaning techniques, then we are going to export it. We are going to work with the data set related to the Amazon products. Let's start coding. Here is the Kaggle page of the data set that we are going to be using in this video for the data cleaning. And we can see that it's named as Amazon products. And I'm going to leave this Kaggle link in the description of this video. You can check the description for downloading this data file. In the link, you need to press this button and after that you need to put the file in your Python script folder. And then you're going to be able to use the same data set. So just check the description for the link. And now I'm just going to take a quick look in the Kaggle page. Then we are going to talk about it in the code editor. So about data set. This data set appears to contain information about products sold on Amazon, including various attributes such as prices, ratings, availability, and sales volume. Here is a description of each column and potential pot product analyzers, modeling, and data science techniques you can use. I'm not going to read them, and I'm not going to read them too. So let's take a look at it. We have 22 columns, and I see that we have both numeric and categorical values so great we can work with it so here is our csv file and now i'm going to download this data set i'm going to put this in the same destination with my file and then i'm going to be re-recording in the code editor so we are in visual studio code interface right now and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to close this welcome page and i'm going to open a folder like data cleaning that I pay me a Jupyter notebook. Also, I want to show you that I created data.txt. I will be leaving this dataset download link in the description, so don't forget to check it. Also, we have our CSV file in here. And now I'm going to select kernel Python environments 3.11.4. And before starting the video, I want to tell you that sometimes libraries can get updated and the codes or the codes working behind the codes can change. So maybe something that you see in this video won't work on you so uh, for fixing this i'm going to say import pandas and then i'm going to show you my pandas version that i'm currently using it's 203 so if you install the same library version you are not going to have any kind of troubles and how you can install this version is you can say pip install pandas 203 or on the Mac side, you can say pip3 install pandas203 from the terminal. You need to do this operation on here. So after mentioning that, we can start to our data cleaning operations. So I will import pandas this time, but as pd. So I want to call pandas like this, and I will say read csv. And I'm going to use this comment for reading my csv file like this and I'm going to make this run and we are going to have a data frame like this so I'm going to save it to something like data and with this when I call the data I'm going to be able to reach to that data frame like as you can see in here and now what I'm going to do is I will say that head and I'm going to make this run the head lets us see the first five rows of the data set and also it's defaultly five but if you say any number on here like if you say three you are going to see the top three rows and if you say 15 you are going to see the first 15 rows also we have tail for seeing the last rows like now we are going to see the last 15 rows and defaultly it's five two and you can also mention the number like if you say one you are going to see only the last row we have so i will go with head and tree and check my data frame so i have an index column in here which is totally unnecessary we have this value product title product price product origin price by the way we have dollar signs and dots in here so they are strings right now in python so let me show you data product price normally it's a number but in python since we have the dollar signs and dot on there it's going to be a string you can see the quotes also let me show you the type of this you will see string in here so we are also going to do the chains on this side 
we have the currency string, product star rating, and product number of ratings, URL, product photo, is best seller, is Amazon choice, is prime, climate pledge friendly, sales volume, delivery, has variations, product availability, unit price, and unit count. So, by the way, we can see the all columns in here, so we can call data columns, and here are our columns. Let me find where we left. Product photo two is best seller. So product photo two is best seller. Let me find it quickly. Yeah, we are not seeing the product number of offers and product minimum offer price in here, but it doesn't matter. So we can start to data cleaning. But firstly, I will call data.info for seeing the data type count. We have 12 object, three integers and two floats. And the memory user is 8.9 kilobytes. Okay. That's amazing. Now I will call data.head and for starting the data cleaning operation, let's say like three in here. For data cleaning operation, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a copy paste on my steps. Like I have steps for data cleaning. This is going to be our video outline. Like we are going to walk on this road. We are going to follow the steps. Like we will firstly delete the redundant columns then we are going to rename the columns and we are going to drop duplicates. We are going to check for the NA values. We are going to look for some more transformations on the dataset, such as changing the dollar signs and removing dots for making this product price and product origin price integers. So we can directly start. Our first step is going to be deleting redundant columns. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say data.columns and I'm going to pick the ones that I want to drop. So I will say data, drop, and I'm going to say columns. And now in here, I'm going to give it a list. Like we are 100% dropping the unnamed. And actually we can drop the, the product number two. I'm not going to drop the product title. And now next, what I'm going to do is I want to drop like product URL and product photo, product number of offers, product minimum offer price is best seller. Actually, I'm going to keep is best seller. So I will say like this, then I'm going to continue is Amazon choice. I'm going to drop that and I'm going to take in the comma to is prime going to be deleted sales volume delivery has variations product availability actually we can drop them and we can keep product availability unit price and unit count so i'm going to paste them too and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to make this run and this returns me a new data frame with the columns that i want like i will show you the unwanted ones are dropped like the index in is not in here but if I go to another cell and if I call the data, they are not going to have our original data frame modified. So for modifying it, we need to do either data occurs to this new data frame or we need to specify after the list in place occurs to true and this will modify the data frame. And when we call the data and data let's say data head for this one and data dot columns we are going to see that we drop the columns that we don't want great so so let's continue with our next step i'm going to bring the steps in here and now our step is renaming the columns so instead of changing one column name i want to capitalize all column name like i want uppercase letters for every first letter for every column. So I'm looking for something like product title, then product price, and it will go like this. So what I'm going to do is at the first place, I'm going to say data new column names, and it's going to be an empty list. Then I will say for index in data.columns and I'm going to say index.capitalize and I will print this for seeing what I'm going to be getting I will say print and we can see that we have the column names we want 
So instead of printing them, I will say data new column names dot append and I will give index dot capitalize like this. And when I call the data new column names, I'm going to have my new column names like product title, product price, with all starting with capital letter at the start. So how I'm going to set them in the data is I will say data that columns is going to be equal to the data new column names. And when I call the data that had one, we are going to see that we have the new column names updated. Also, we can see it from data that columns like this. Great. This was it for our second step. So I'm going to say our next step is going to be dropping duplicates. So how we can check duplicates is we can say data duplicated and it's going to return us booleans in true and false format. And if we say that sum, then we are going to get, we are not having any duplicate in our data set since this returns zero. So what if we had, so I will say, what if we had duplicates, then we need to use data drop duplicates and saving it we need to do in place that goes to true and this is going to be our code if we have any duplicates in our data for dropping them next step remove the na values from the data set so for that i will say data is an a and it's going to return me booleans for every cell like this and if i say that sum i'm going to see the total na values column wise like we have 63, 59, 59. And if I say sum again, we are going to have the total number. But what I want to say is, I will say data, and I'm going to say data shape. We only have 64 rows, and if we drop 63, we are not going to have any kind of data to work with. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to drop these columns, and then I will do data drop na so at the first place i will say data and i'm going to feature the data's product title then product price like this and i will take let's not take product original price i will take currency and i will take product star rating and I will take like product number ratings and I will take is best seller. And this is going to be my new data frame and I'm going to save as data. So now I will call data is an A, that's sum, and we are going to have this. So from now on, we are going to be working with this data in our data cleaning operations. So in here for cleaning NA values, I will say data drop NA. This is how we can drop the NA values. And for saving that, you need to use in place equals to true. Otherwise, you are not going to modify the original data frame you have. And I will call data is NA sum again. And we are not going to have any kind of NA values in our data set. Great. So this was our one before the final step so our final step is check for some more transformations so let's call data head 3 what i'm going to do is i want to get this product price column as integers then i want to transform this is best seller column so let's start with is best seller column i will call data is best seller and it's true false true false let's get the unique values out of here and we are going to have false and true. So we have two unique values. What I want is I want to have one instead of true and zero instead of false. Why? Because most of the machine learning algorithms use numeric values instead of string type of values, text values. So we are going to turn them into numeric format. So we will call this panda series like this. Then we will say apply. And we are going to say lambda x is going to be one if it is equal to true else zero. And we are going to have a new series in here in the way that we want it. And I'm going to say data is best seller 
and let's say like let's modify this one and I'm going to save it like this so we are going to be returning this series into this column and I will say data we are going to have is bestseller zeros and ones in the way that we want great so our other transformation is going to be transforming this one so data product price and what we are going to do in here is we can say that string and I'm going to call that like this and then I'm, I will say replace let's replace the dollar sign with an empty string firstly and now we remove the dollar signs out of data product price let me make it run again and we don't have any dollar signs right now now the next step is going to be removing this dots so I will say replace again and I'm going to say replace this with an empty string and now actually let's try it with string like this and now we have the values but with a problem so all values are four or five digits right now so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to do this operation I'm only going to remove the dollar sign and I'm going to save this as data product price and I need to use the capital yes so I will call data right now and we are going to have the new product prices and now what I'm going to do is let's say I will say data product price and I will say s type float like this and now we have the series in the float format like we have still the dots but it's in numeric type right now so I will call data product price and I will make this equal to this and actually the bracket is looking to wrong direction and I will call the data again here we have our floats in here like let me check type of one of them product price zero and I will check the type on this like this and the type of this is numpy float and next let's say that we want integers instead of floats we can say data product price as type integer and we are going to have integers in here but they are not rounded like 99.99 .99 is 99 right now but if we want to round them we can do apply lambda x round x for x we can do that and it's going to return we don't need to say for x so I will make this run we have the round of data right now and I will do data product price and I'm going to make this equal to this so when I call the data now I'm going to get my rounded values so I'm going to call my steps again and we completed all of these steps in this video we deleted the redundant columns we renamed them we dropped duplicates we removed NA values and we did other transformations so as the last step we have this data frame in here cool but we need to have it as an excel file or we need to export it it's simple data to excel and we can say like clean data.xlsx and our excel file will be in here also what if we want csv we can say data to csv and we can say clean csv data.csv and after that we are going to have our csv file in here great so now we have the data that we want let's get to the outro thanks for watching i'm sharing new data science videos every week you can subscribe to my channel for more videos like this i have a playlist named data cleaning videos and i have more than 10 data cleaning tutorials just like this one you can check that playlist for more videos like this have a great day